Last week, I got a new delivery of my Embril injections, and uh, they look like this. I take these once a week uh, for my arthritis, and uh, I get a lot of questions about them. People are curious about what they are, why I take them, uh, how it works, etc. So I thought, hmm, here I am trying to learn how to do YouTube videos. So what would make more sense than to make a couple of videos about my arthritis and my other conditions and the medications I take, how it works, etc. So without further ado, let me take you back to Tuesday last week when I had been going without injections for over a month and I was really, really poorly and I was suffering from a lot of pain at the time. Um, and it does show. And also it was the first time I used my webcam to film, so there is a problem with the audio sync, I'm afraid, but still, I think the video itself is important, so come on, let's have a look. Basically, uh, I get a bag like this, here. Yeah. Uh, so it's called Embrel 50 milligrams solution for injection in pre-filled pan. Uh, and then inside this one, there is a packing leaflet, changing glasses, so if you want to read anything, um, including possible side effects. That's this section here, if you can see that. Oh, let's uh, forget about side effects and boring things like that and we'll focus on what we hope these are going to do for me instead because I think that is uh, more interesting. Uh, I've decided to show you what it looks like um, or rather how I, I take this medication. So the first thing you need to do is you need to check your injection. So you see that it has this bar here with that little bubble that floats in there. The point of this is that you need to check this to make sure that the liquid inside is completely clear. Then you need to take one of these. This is uh, an alcohol swab. So you open this up and you get the little swab out. And then you need to open up the space we're going to do it. Now I, I do mine on my belly. So for the first time in my entire life, I am going to show my belly on camera. So we have the swab and it's the only time in my life when there has been a good reason to be a little bit chubby. You need to grab hold of the, the fleshy or wobbly bits of your tummy if you're going to do it in the tummy. You can do it in the tummy, you can do it in your thighs or in your upper arms. I find that it hurts the least if I do it in the in the tummy, um, well, in the in the belly fat. Uh, if I do it in my legs, uh, I have problems because I can't really get to them in a good way. If I do it in the arms, I think it's really painful. So I do it here. So I first of all rub the area where I want to, to stick the needle, and then there is this this white uh, piece here that is uh, protecting the needle, so we need to take that off. And the way I do that is normally I pull it out with my teeth. Now, you can see that front bit here is a hole, and inside that hole is the actual needle. So this is this is quite clever. So what I do now is there is also a, a, a button up here so I put my thumb on the button, I push the injection in as hard as I can on this area um, and I push the button and I count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and I pull this out. Now I don't know if you can see that but just like tiny little bit of wetness. Um, sometimes I might see just a tiny, tiny, tiny little drop of blood uh, where I did this, but most of the time this is all I see, just a tiny bit of wetness um, from the, the pun. Now it's done. 
Now, important, we've taken this, um, there is very sharp needle in there. It is a protected tailor, but uh, a child or someone who is too nosy might still try to fiddle with this or stick their fingers in there or something. So I'll put the cap on like that. And uh, I put my used up injections in here. They actually come to our house to pick these up uh, and take them away or to be destroyed. But for someone who is very concerned about our environment and not throwing too much away, I do I do struggle a bit with the amount of waste that you throw away because of these. But then again, if I had to choose between not having the injections and uh, instead not throwing so much away, I'm afraid I would still choose the injection. So now I showed you how I do my embryo injections. Um, I always take them in my belly, but I alternate uh, to do them on either side. Uh, one thing I find is that you need to take them out of the fridge and first of all allow them to get to room temperature and then I take the injection and I stick it inside and I keep it there for maybe five minutes. Well, now you've seen how I deal with my Embrel injections. If you have any questions about Embrel, about my illness, about anything really, um, you have the contact details in the description box below. Um, use them. Let's talk. Now it's time for me to say goodbye. But first, as always, thank you for watching. Have a good day. I love you.